Preparedness tip number two, coming up on today's video. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Justin, and on this channel, we explore the lighter side of life. On my main channel, we talk business, ownership, HR, success, mindset, coaching, all the things that I do for work. This is the personal channel where I challenge myself to unwind and have a little bit of fun. That means if I find it interesting, passionate, or fun, purposeful, in some other way outside of work, we talk about it. And this month, I want to celebrate National Preparedness Month and talk about some of the things that I do to stay prepared in case of natural disasters or anything like that that may happen. And so uh, you can see the link to the first video down below. Uh, but this video, uh, again, I want to give you something free. So really quick tip number one was to join a group and you can talk about that and some group options for you if you go watch that first video. Today, I wanted to talk about another free option that you have, and that is simply to create a preparedness binder. Now, I started mine about a year ago, and it's full of things like emergency contacts. Both, it contains numbers for things like uh, our family and all of the, the cell phones that we have in, in our family, but extended family, both in state and out of state. It has backups on health insurance, on birth certificates, on marriage certificates, on important financial documents. And I keep all of this, pop it up right here. We have uh, one of these emergency fire bags that we keep right by the front door. And so this has paper maps in it for us. Uh, that if we need to use paper maps because maybe there's technological interruptions of some kind, this has paper maps in it of our state and of neighboring states. Uh, and then it has our preparedness binder as well as any of our current year tax filing papers, those sorts of things. And so this is a, in a fire safe bag that should something happen to our house, this bag can remain protected. But that it's really that binder that I wanted to talk about today. So you can use the fire bag idea if you want to. But inside this binder, it contains additional personal information that we might need in case of emergency for our family, like I said, in-state and out-of-state, ways to get a hold of us, but as well as medical allergies. It's got pictures of our family that should we get separated. We have pictures in here to say, have you seen this person? And so a variety of ways to stay in contact, plus things like AAA and insurance policies and all of those sorts of things, both for the house and for our vehicles. And this is just a binder that periodically uh, I update it to make sure that we have up-to-date information, say, on our kids, right? Their, their faces change a lot as they're growing, and so we keep those sorts of informations up-to-date inside of this binder. Something cheap, something, something hopefully free that you can do. Just enter in all of your personal. I created a Word document, stylized it uh, a little bit so it, it laid out into sections and printed it out, put it in there. And then at the very end of the binder, the thing that I have added is what to do in case of an emergency for our family. So we have standard operating procedures that we as a family have started to go over there. What do we do if there is, for example, we live in the state of California, what if there's a wildfire and we're together? We know exactly what to do and who is in charge of getting what to the vehicles should we need to evacuate. What do we do if somebody is at home and other people are away? For example, I, I work from home, my wife works somewhere else, she takes the kids to school. What happens when I'm at home, my wife is at work, the kids are at school? How do we reconcile and meet up for that? So we've included a bunch of likely scenarios inside of that binder, things like wildfires, things like earthquakes, so that we know, if we're together or apart, how we need to operate. And it eliminates that confusion in the moment of what do we need to do, things like house fire. Right, so those sorts of daily practices that you can be going over with your kids. What do we do when there's a fire? Our kids know where to meet, who to contact, how to get a hold of them, all of that sort of stuff. Again, you can put that all in your binder. It's extremely cheap, probably free if you have a printer and some paper and a computer and a three ring binder at home. That's really all you need. Start typing that stuff up, put it in one centralized location. And we would be able to, I mean, if in an extreme scenario, if we really had to, we'd be able to recreate uh, our, our lives somewhere because we would have birth certificates and marriage certificates and insurance policies and backup photocopies of personal identifiable information that would allow us to get access to resources very quickly. Shove it all in a fire bag. It sits by the front door so that we can use it in emergency if we need it. There is your tip. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We'll be doing tip number three. We're releasing one every day this month and we will see you back on the channel real soon.